Travis Kelsey will reunite with Taylor Swift at her Beverly Hills mansion in Los Angeles after the Chiefs win tonight, the Kansas City Chiefs won 17-10 against the Chargers, and Travis broke a Kansas City Chiefs team record early in Sunday afternoon's game without Taylor Swift in attendance to cheer him on, in the first quarter of the Chiefs' visit to Inglewood. The linebacker recorded his 917th reception in red and white. That broke Tony Gonzalez's record of 916 catches. In addition to the new receptions record, Kelsey also holds the most touchdowns, receptions, receiving yards and receiving yards in the postseason for the Chiefs. The linebacker has 19 touchdowns, 165 receptions, 1,903 receiving yards and 1,910 receiving yards in the playoffs. His performance silenced any criticism as Kelsey had a rough start to the season despite the Chiefs having a perfect record in their first four games. Kelsey had seven receptions on nine attempts for 89 yards. However, he is still waiting for his first touchdown of the season. Sunday's game was Swift's second straight game away, and Travis left SoFi Stadium alone after the game, getting into a black SUV and leaving as the crowd watched. Fans are speculating he's headed back to Swift's Beverly Hills mansion in Los Angeles to reunite with his girlfriend after she missed today's game. Kelsey and Swift have been dating since last summer and the pop superstar attended her first Kansas City Chiefs game a little over a year ago, on September 24, 2023, she was seen watching the game from Kelsey's room with his mother Donna as the Chiefs took on the Chicago Bears, after the game, the two were seen heading out together, Swift wearing Kansas City Chiefs gear, before leaving in her vintage convertible, they became inseparable after that, she was photographed at several of his other games, they were seen holding hands on several date nights, and he flew to see her perform on more than one occasion when her tour resumed shortly after. On September 27, 2023, Kelsey said Swift looked amazing at the Chiefs game and heaped praise on the courageous musician for keeping her word and showing up. Speaking with his brother Jason on their popular New Heights podcast, Travis said, Thank you Taylor for coming. That was bold, I just thought it was awesome that everyone in the room was saying great things about her. Friends and family she looked great, everyone was talking about her in a great way, to see the slow-motion chest thumping, to see the high fives with her mom, to see how excited the Chiefs were that she was there, it was really funny, it was definitely a game I'll remember, for sure, Travis added. And then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end, thank you to Taylor for coming and seeing me rock the stage.